We're celebrating Speedway success. Uh, David's here and he's brought some uh, special guests with him. David. This is a packed studio, isn't it? Not only do we have two champions with us, we also have a trophy and a sombrero. We will get to all of that and explain all that in just a little minute. But first of all, I mean, let's just show you the moment and just how Bellevue Aces ended their 29-year wait to become Premiership champions. The historic win was sealed in the second leg of their grand final with Sheffield Tigers. It was tight, but in the end, they won by 91 points to 89. Cue those celebrations, and I'm delighted to say that fresh from those celebrations, as well as the uh, Aces team manager, Mark Lemon, and also one of the riders, uh, Charles Wright. Guys, how does this feel? How was this for you guys? What an achievement. Sum this up for us. No, it was uh, brilliant after being so long, 29 years, uh, I've been waiting for this uh, trophy, and uh, I was glad to be part of it last night, and uh, no, it's a brilliant feeling. Mm -hmm. Mark, this is your fourth grand final in the last seven years. How does it feel to finally win after all these all the years of heartbreak and pain? Yeah, quite surreal, to be fair. Um, <laughs> I didn't think it was going to happen. We come so close, you know, many times, and to put all that hard work in over the years and, and come up short um, is, is is pretty hard to take. But uh, last night we we clinched it, and and it's just not like the, the the four times I've been in the grand final. There's been many past teams that have got pretty close in the last 29 years, but for our fans to finally celebrate and, and feel that, you know, relieve that emotion and, and anxiety that they've had for so long, it was tremendous and great scenes last night. You know, the, the eighth man, as we call them, just did an amazing job. You're the team manager now, but you did ride for the Aces and this is your beautiful bike, isn't it? But for people who don't know anything about Speedway, it has no gears, no brakes. People come off pretty regularly and they did in the grand final, didn't they? Yeah, it was a pretty heated, uh, you know, couple of meetings, the two-legged meetings. Uh, there were some spills and thrills aplenty. Um, and, you know, we, we raced around the National Speedway Stadium. And it's one of the probably the, the safest and, the, you know, the most, you know, best race circuits in the country, if not the world. Um, but it was intense. The, the, the grand final certainly brought out an edge to the competition and it was, it was rough and tough. But like I said, the bikes, you know, go from 0 to 60 faster than the Formula One car and they have no brakes. Uh, so these boys, <laughs> they're, they're brave boys. <laughs> uh, Charles, you're from Stockport. Uh, David's been telling us how like Speedway is completely in your blood. Your, your granddad uh, rode for the Bellevue Aces all the way back in the 1960s. So, so how does it feel to finally, finally win this trophy? Yeah, it's massive. Uh, it's been a family affair with me and, and my brother riding for the Aces as well. And uh, growing up as a kid and being a fan mm -hmm. since a young age and uh, being sat here right now and uh, winning the trophy. And uh, no, it's a brilliant feeling for myself and the whole club, the fans uh, and the city. So. Brilliant. Tell us about the sombreros, please, and the celebrations. <laughs> what has it got to do with that? I think Lemo knows more about the story than me. <laughs> yeah, I think you know, a group of fans started wearing them you know, some years ago. And uh, obviously, we, they started to come back, and, and obviously, we've had a winning team, and you know, they, they've come out of the, 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 you know, the neighbourhood, and, <laughs> and, and we've embraced it as a team. And like, when, we, when we win a race, we get a 5-1 when the, the, the team you know, on a heat advantage, and they get like, we class as a 5-1 when they finish first and second. Uh, we play the Mexican hat dance and it's like a real carnival affair and like, it's really taken off and yeah. we, we had the, the hats out for the celebrations in, in, in east of, uh, of victory and uh, I'm glad we got to bring them out. Yeah. Oh Mark, I'm going to put you on the spot. Can you just put that hat up for us? <laughs> would, you, would you mind just to finish this off? Just so we can just, finish this just all because off with we the won the lead, on. I do not mind there at all. There we go, guys. Yeah. 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 Absolutely fantastic, guys. Thank you so much for joining us this evening.